Ho hum market. So I'll tell you what, uh, boy, let's take a look at this market. I, this is um, the Meerkat in for D7 here of the Bright Market Review for the 11th of October. Let's take a look at the numbers here. S&P up a whopping 0.16, the Dow up a whopping 0.14, but both of them new all time highs. Then we got the Qs up a 0.3, up new all time highs, but then we had the small caps pull back a whopping 0.07%. Uh, no new high there. And bank, it pulled down a little bit. Minus 0 0.51 just on the cusp here of the earnings parade of the banks. And we'll talk about that in a few minutes. And the VIX also dropped it back down to a 9.76, right down 3% today. Wow, it is low. It's just historic lows being below 10, folks. Very, very, very complacent we are. And then we've got the dollar. It was down slightly. And that uh, confirms a slightly bullish market today. And we had oil, it popped back up 0.7%. And we had uh, gold and silver here, both up again today. Now that's interesting. Market was small up, and but these were also up with them. Uh, and then we have the trend trade. Uh, it is not on today, uh, 1.2 as it closed on that. So let's take a look here at the charts here, at the daily chart on the S&P 500, look, represented here by the SPY. And why we use the SPY a couple of reasons one um, on this chattering platform it, it gives us the live data we have to wait for the markets to close and uh, by the time we do our video uh, the uh, the indexes aren't updated yet here on this but more importantly we get volume here look at this boom new all-time high so Monday we pull back then we gently are going up just gently 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 so now we have to set a new all-time high here on the daily chart but look at the volume folks look at that it does not it's half of what it was last week almost half of what it was last week very very complacent everybody's just kind of waiting walking in place here before this earning season begins which begins tomorrow with the banks and we'll review those banks in a few minutes and then we've got the Dow same thing just creeping up creeping up up new all-time high but just barely this is not like we're barreling up here and so we are in an upward trend but boy it is very very weak and again volume half of what it was last week almost then we got the qqq the tech stocks here uh didn't it did look at this the last two days they did not close to a new high and then finally today another new all-time high but just barely so we got more of a high base here right again look at volume very very low for the entire week here and then we've got the small caps now they just pulled back a little bit today they're not at their all-time high in fact I need to set this up here at the, where the all-time high closes were on the daily chart and it's almost it's almost a bull flag technically it's not it's more of a down leg coming back down here but uh, yeah it's just kind of stalled after this huge run up here on the small caps then let's take a look here and a few of our tech stocks here. Uh, let's just take a look at good old Facebook here. Now it uh, it had dipped, made this big dip down and, and a huge volume, and now it's rolling back up, back up into this tight range that it has been all the way back to August. Then we got our good friends at Apple, AAPL here, and it's just creeping up, creeping up. But look, it's staying below this. 20 daily moving average here so again not strong bull in the tech area and let's look at tesla uh, tesla was, has been in this range here and now i've actually drawn this in a mentoring program that we had over the weekend uh, we were drawing the lines on this and this is the proper way to do it it's in this uh, slightly rising wedge but it's a long running along the bottom here all cut up in the moving averages so not real bullish there how about Google Oh, now there is a very very positive one alphabet here just running 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 look at that boom 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 still running up here so very very bullish on Google L when is its earnings coming up uh, it's coming up here on the 26th so that will be coming up soon here on Google all right let's go to our bank stocks and uh, reporting starting tomorrow JP Morgan here so get and earnings is tomorrow now is not the time to buy you wait till earnings because you don't know what's going to happen over earnings here and it's high basing up here and near its all-time highs and uh, was it's waiting to see what are tomorrow's earnings JP Morgan and then Citibank here earnings tomorrow uh, here we go it's just basing up here the last few days everyone's waiting to see what those earnings are now the expectation is they're going to be really big this particular quarter 
but it gets expectation versus reality. That's the rub, right? And then we have uh, Wells Fargo here. Uh, they do it on the Friday, the 13th, uh, is when their earnings are. Again, they're high basing here just the last couple of weeks. And I'm going to lower volume here. And then Bank of America. Uh, it's next week, uh, early next week, are, are their earnings. And then here's Goldman Sachs. Uh, look at it, ran up, pulled back, doing a bull pullback here. But again, next, uh, what, the 17th is the, is the uh, earnings on that one. I think that's Monday. So, you know, we have to be aware that the earnings are there uh, before you want to get into any of these. Again, trading over earnings is uh, someone in my uh, uh, chat room says it's kind of like playing Russian roulette with six bullets in an eight shooter. That's right. You got a 50 50 chance it's going to be good or bad earnings. And then you have a 50% chance of whether the market's going to interpret it as good or bad. So that gives you about a 25% chance. So, would you want to do Russian roulette with six bullets in an eight shooter? And not I. In fact, I wouldn't want to do it at all. But clearly, the odds are not in your favor to try to guess what's going to happen over earnings. So let's not be reckless. Let's be a rational and proactive trader and not an emotional, reactional trader. Okay, that's it on that. This is Mark the Meerkat. So the markets are just resting here at all-time highs. We're starting the parade now of earnings, and it starts off here with the banking industry. And again, we can't go anywhere without banks. So if you are long the market, just to be managing your stops and get those shorts ready if we have a turn in the market. But right now, we are in a neutral to mildly bullish uptrend. This is Mark the Meerkat. Trade well, and may your winners run.